Hi everybody, Fintan here from Dams and Cloud. This week I'm talking about an overview of Google Voice. It's a very interesting product that we've been selling for the last few years and using, and I thought that you might be interested in a little overview. Voice still connects us all and the number of phone numbers in the world is actually more than the number of people. So despite um, all of the technology and email and other forms of communication that we have, voice is still very, very important. And a lot of businesses are still managing voice in a very traditional way. Um, they have um, large server rooms that have telephony, uh, traditional telephony solutions in them. Um, and really it's very cumbersome. It's not very cost effective um, and often companies can suffer from quite a lot of downtime as well. So Google Voice is designed to be smart, simple and scalable. It's a solution that integrates with Google Workspace and Google have worked to make it an easy and simple solution for both the end user and the admin or administrator which is often not the case when it comes to telephony solutions. Google have their AI and machine learning technology built into Google Voice as well. So they've got things like text to speech for auto attendant. You can actually type in what you want and, and the auto attendant will then just say it for you. They also have speech to text the other way around for voicemail transcriptions. I find this feature quite useful. Um, and also have uh, their machine learning uh, built in for spam so they can actually detect spam calls uh, and shut those down. So some really interesting innovations around uh, voice. Now you might be thinking, well, is Google qualified to actually um, you know, provide these sort of telephony um, services? Actually, Google has over 10 years of experience um, in this industry. They have billions of calls over uh, Google Cloud. They also have millions of users that have been using um, Google Voice, the consumer version. Um, obviously, we're talking about Google Voice for business um, since 2009. Um, so as I said, over 10 years. So some really interesting stats that we will uh, throw up on screen there. But suffice it to say, Google has enough experience here um, for any business. So voice is really ready for any size organization. As I said, the three pillars are simple, smart, and scalable. It's a simple solution and easy for both end users and admins to administer and assign, uh, assign numbers and, and um, uh, set people up. And then again, we have the smart AI features in um, Google you know, that are uh, replicating the old phone system, but also improving upon it and making it a more modern um, solution. Then we have the scalability that you can migrate to Google Voice and port your numbers. You can provision uh, a user in, you know, less than a minute. And um, you can even have things like self-assignment where users can actually sign up for a phone number uh, using their Google Workspace account. So um, when we think about Google Voice, um, one of the key features for me um, that I find advantageous about it is the fact that the experience is the same across all devices. So whether I'm accessing Google Voice on my um, mobile or whether I'm accessing it on the web, the experience is the same and the access to both my phone number and all of the features is the same as well. I have a unified calling experience. So when I'm in my Gmail, Google Voice will actually appear on the right hand side um, and I can both make and accept calls um, on my laptop or desktop computer. Google Voice also allows you to stay in sync. So um, Google has a feature called call forwarding and you can assign your number to multiple different uh, devices. So I've got my desktop phone here, I've got my mobile device, I've got my, um, my actual laptop and I can decide where I want um, my voice phone number to actually ring as I move around. Um, you know, if I'm out of the office, I might want it on my mobile. If I'm in the office, I might only want it on my desktop. And that flexibility is really part of one of the core features of Google Voice. I mentioned the um, voicemail earlier on. I absolutely love this feature. When I get a voicemail from someone, I can open up my phone and I have a full transcription of what is said. Um, and again, this is Google's um, voice to text um, solution here that, that's, that's been brought in and it will actually do it for up to eight languages now. So very, very powerful. And on my mobile device, I can both see the transcription and I can listen to the message as well.
The next piece is around owning your time. So you can now link Google Voice to your working office hours in Google Calendar and your out of office hours. So if you're on holidays or if you only work you know, particular hours, you can actually set it to sync with your Google Calendar so that Google Voice will know when to divert calls to you and when to divert them to your team. So again, that sort of automation or, or, or power around that, that's very, very advantageous. And I mentioned spam calling earlier on. Um, Google will actually use that, that um, technology that they have used within Gmail and other products to block spam callers getting through to you. Um, and I found, again, this to be uh, very advantageous for those unwanted calls. Going hands-free is really easy with Google. You've got uh, Sennheiser, Logitech, Jabra, and Poly all making um, uh, head headsets and, and uh, devices for Google Voice now, and these are approved by Google. Poly also have um, been the provider that Google has selected for desktop-based phones, which for some businesses are still required. Um, our own business, we don't tend to use these. I have one as a, as a, a sort of a tester, um, and I found it quite, quite uh, useful. I've got the VVX350, and this uses um, Google Voice technology built in. The amazing thing with this is that setting up these phones from an administrator point of view is super, super simple. So an admin just needs to put in uh, the serial number of the phone and it will automatically sign in the, the uh, end user, which is, which is just incredible actually. Um, so you could send a phone out to somebody and they would plug it in and it would literally be ready to go. Um, I just want to talk about the security and trust here for a moment. Um, Google Voice is a core product of Google Workspace, which means that it's covered by all of the compliance and ISO 2700 and all that kind of stuff and, and all the, the, the security um, um, and privacy piece that, that the rest of Google Workspace is and the SLA, the service level agreement that Google have. You've got e-discovery and Vault. You've got data encryption at rest and in transit. You've got the GDPR compliance I meant, mentioned. You've also got telecoms compliance and emergency calling. So all of the stuff that people would, um, or that companies would require out of a telephony solution. So where is Google Voice available? Well, it's pretty much available in most countries within um, mainland Europe now, and obviously UK and Ireland, and also the US and Canada. There is alpha testing happening in Japan at the moment, and there are more countries on Google's roadmap that they will be rolling out over the coming years. Google Voice is an add-on for Google Workspace, and it comes in three different tiers, um, Starter, Standard, and Premier. Starter is designed for companies with less than 10 employees and has fairly basic features. Standard seems to be the one that most of our customers have selected, uh, unless there's a reason really for you to kind of bump up to the premier one. Within the standard tier, you've got, an, you can add unlimited users, you can have unlimited uh, domestic office numbers. So by that, I mean, whatever country you are in, if it's UK, if it's Ireland, if it's you know, someplace in Europe, you can have as many numbers in that, that, that region or jurisdiction as you want. Um, you also get multi-level auto attendance. So the auto attendant feature allows you to um, basically have a dial one for sales, two for support, three for accounts, etc. And you can set that up and have multiple levels of that within the Google Voice system. You also have the desk phone support that I mentioned earlier on. And then really the premier tier, the primary difference is that you can have international offices. So you could have a phone number in another country, again, where Google Voice is available. You have all of the features of standard, obviously. You've got advanced reporting and you've also got data regions, which is important to a lot of customers. Uh, something that Google has announced recently is um, they ha had unlimited minutes for US and Canada and still have that. And they have now announced that most for most European countries now, um, calls to landlines and mobiles are going to be included in your Google Workspace, uh, sorry, Google Google Voice uh, plan as well. So next, I'm going to talk about Google Voice for admins. If you're not an administrator, then probably you'd want to switch off now. And if you are, you might be interested in some of this. So. Everything can be managed within the Google Workspace admin console. When you set up Google Voice, a Google Voice uh, section appears and basically it's like an, another tool like you would manage Drive or Gmail and you can go to the voice section and you can manage everything from within there. You can do things like provisioning users, 
um, you can assign numbers and you can also painlessly migrate um, in terms of number porting from your previous provider over to um, over to Google. Now, uh, Google says painlessly, I feel like number porting is never painless. Google has definitely made it as seamless as possible, um, but number porting definitely is something that you need to plan and think about. And there are a couple of gotchas that you need to um, ensure that you kind of tick the box on because it's a very archaic system on the, on the back end number porting. Um, so I would recommend that you uh, talk to your Google partner about that. Uh, guided callers, this is the auto attendant feature um, and again allows you to decide the prompts, how calls are transferred, whether they're going to voicemail, whether you're disconnecting a caller, diverting them onto somebody else, passing them onto a, a, a ring group and this can all be managed again within the um, uh, admin console. Uh, next up we have um, business hours so you can set the business hours of your um, auto attendant or of your phone number and after a particular time you can have it automatically divert uh, to your voicemail which again that automation piece um, is, is uh, very very useful. Next we have working with a team and so this is ring groups. Ring groups allow you to have a single number um, that can call multiple people. Uh, you can do what's called a round robin where it will dial around the different uh, users or you can have it simultaneously ring on, on everybody's phone at the same time. And then you can decide whether people can actually dial out from that number. So this is a, quite a recent feature. We did a video on this um, when it launched. I can actually make a call from my Google Voice on my phone and um, I can have the number displayed that I am a member of a ring group for. So that means I could dial out somebody and they would see an Irish number. I could dial a UK customer and they could see a UK number. So very, very flexible, particularly for sales teams or marketing teams that need that, that flexibility or indeed support teams um, for customers. So ring groups are very, very powerful um, for both the incoming and outgoing um, features. And so that's pretty much it from the admin side. Um, the last piece that I wanted to mention was, uh, the, uh, and I'd mentioned it earlier on, but just to reiterate the ability to add the desktop phones within the admin console. Again, this is really, really seamless. You can also add additional numbers as well. So if, if a user needs an additional number, and again, you can add that to your ring group um, and place the users in there uh, that you require. So that's it for me, folks. I hope you enjoyed this week's update. If you'd like to learn more about Google Voice, um, check out Damson's website. We have lots of information on Google Voice. It's one of our most popular areas. Uh, and indeed, if you would like to talk to us about adding Google Voice to your workspace environment and helping your employees um, work remotely more easily, then do please get in touch. If you're not subscribed, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel if that's where you're watching this, or indeed Instagram, Facebook, Twitter or LinkedIn. Um, am I missing? No. <laughs> um, so that's it guys. Um, please do join us in the comments and let us know your thoughts on this and I will see you next week. Let me redo that last bit.